All right, setting up for winter field day. We've actually been operating for a little bit now, and uh, <laughs> we've got, uh, we're operating as three Oscar. I had to look up the uh, exchange again, because I was thinking it was the same exchange as field day, but it's not. It's uh, Oscar, India, and hotel are your exchanges. Uh, the number is how many radios you have, and then India is for inside, Oscar is for outside, and hotel is for home. So we are outside, not at home, so we are three Oscar. North Texas, November Tango X-Ray, operating under the call sign of KN5TR, Kilo November 5 Tango Romeo, and this is Winter Field Day 2020. Shut up, Shut up and sit down. down. So, the antennas we're using are pretty versatile. This one right here, which you can see, yeah, that, there it is. That is the buddy pole with the longer extended whips. And it is on the Mastworks 30-foot uh, tripod. The Mastworks tripods come in, in uh, 20, or I'm sorry, 10, 20, and 30 foot. And of course, I got the tallest one because height is might, right? That's a K8 MRD term, height is might. But it's true. It's true. It's very true, especially when it comes to... Uh, uh, getting over the tops of the trees that are around here. So you see some of these trees around here. And uh, they go they're about 25, 27, maybe 28 foot tall, something like that in some of these areas. So the antenna is definitely over the top of it when it's all the way up there. Now let me show you the coolest thing about this Mastworks tripod. The coolest thing that I think about this Mastworks tripod. Okay, so you see these guy wires right here, right? Let me get the camera around this way. So here are, so there's a guy ring right there and there's a guy ring right above it. So there's two guy rings with uh, three lines coming off of each guy ring that come down and attach to, you know, they come with stakes and whatnot and they attach into the ground just like this right here. Right there. That's a guy ring attached to the to the ground, obviously. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. San Francisco. Okay. And there's the mat. There's patience. the mast from this side. There's the first guy ring, the second guy ring. That's a better shot of it right there with the with the way that the sun is. But that right there is rotatable. And here's your rotor right here. And as you turn this rotor left and right the guy rings attach around the mast in such a way that they don't turn with it. So watch the antenna turn. There's the antenna turn, but the guy rings don't turn with it. How cool is that? So, I told Chris from Buddy Pole, I'm like, whatever you think, <laughs> whatever selling point you have on this thing, because Mastworks is made by Buddy Pole. I was like, whatever selling point you have on this thing, that needs to be advertised. Because you got two guy rings, each with three lines coming off of it, low and high. Because, well, this is the 30 foot, 30 foot tripod. The 10 foot probably doesn't have two guy rings, but it's still got this mast, uh, same type of mast in the center with the guy ring that goes around it. And then you turn it and rotate your antenna on the top. And the guy rings, or the guy wi wires and the guy rings, they don't get tangled up in anything. That's like one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. So we're gonna do some winter field day operating with, uh, let me see, we've got three stations as I said. And ooh, they're getting a fire going now. You can see the smoke <laughs> starting to get cold again because it's getting on in the evening. But we've got four antennas. Four, one, two, three, four, four antennas. We've got the TN07, TN07 of 10 to 80 meter vertical, 31 foot flagpole. I've got my buddy pole on the Massworks tripod there. We've got two homebrew antennas, so we're going to talk about all those in this episode. So uh, take a look. See, look here, the buddy pole. This is the coax that comes with the buddy pole. They do mil spec, military spec, RG58. So it's really thin stuff. It's not great if you're wanting to do like um, permanent setups, but you know, for 
ease of, I mean, you don't want to carry LMR 400 with you out in the field or up a mountain or something like that, generally speaking. It's really heavy. I've got 200 foot rolls of LMR 400 around here somewhere, and you wouldn't want that in your backpack. But this mil spec stuff that the buddy pull, it comes with this. Get it closer to the camera there. They've got these, uh, they're BNC connectors here, obviously. They've got uh, rubber covers, and uh, on the end to cover the cap and the end here and it's kind of manufactured this way form and, and formed all together and then it comes with a, a, a velcro strap and they and that's on both ends there's the other end of it right there hold, hold the roll up this is a hundred foot roll of RG58 mil spec uh, buddy pull stamped for buddy pull and it even says a hundred feet so if you if you forget he's like no how how, uh, how long is this one? It says 100 foot on the end right there. So th it comes this way. I didn't do this. It comes this way from Buddy Pole, and it's very useful. Now, I didn't put the insulator on mine, but I have the insulator. Okay. Yeah, they, his came with them. All yeah, my came, my came with it on the other one. Oh, 5 November, November. Kilo go 5 November, November. Over. <laughs> okay, uh, it was Alberta, Alpha Bravo, Kyoto. Okay, and what was your section? I've got Kilo Golf 5, November, November. What was your section? Over. Kilo, Michigan, Kilo, November 5, Tango, Michigan. We are three Alpha, uh, three Oscar, no Texas. QSL, the five indoor Charlie Tango. 73 is in good luck in the contest. QRZ, three kilowatt eight, uniform Oscar. Kilo November five, Tango Romeo. Kilo November five, Tango Romeo. Please copy eight, India, Michigan, QSL. QSL, QSL, please copy 3 Oscar, November Tango X-Ray. Copy 3 Oscar, Northern Texas. Thank you for the contact and good luck in the contest. 73. That guy was 8 India and 8 stations. That's the biggest one I've heard today. Most of the ones I've heard today are 1s and 2s. Michigan. 8 India, Michigan. I already talked to her. Kilo Charlie 5 Delta India. Kilo November 5 Tango Romeo. November 5 Tango Romeo, please copy one hotel Lima Alpha. QSL on one hotel uh, Lima Alpha, please copy Kilo, three November Oscar 5, November Tango, Tango X-ray. Thanks for North Texas, 73 is good luck. 73, I want to make sure you got my call sign right. It's Kilo November 5 Tango Romeo. Uh, KX5TR, Roger. QSL, QSL, 73, and good luck today. Three, good luck. I heard him say November 5, but I didn't hear him say Kilo November 5. Whiskey forward, Charlie, for bit, please. That guy's loud. Louisiana, though. Kilo November 5, Tango Romeo. Kilo November 5, Tango Romeo. This is Whiskey 4 Victor. Whiskey 4 Victor from Kilo November 5, Tango Romeo. I heard, uh, November 5, uh, Whiskey 4 Victor. QSL, QSL. Yeah, winter field day. It is nighttime. And I gotta tell you, 40 is dead. We were at making contacts on 40 meters during the day, and it was working good. Then the sun went down, of course 20 died, which we expected that, so we'd switch over to 40, and man, holy cow, there's nothing happening on 40 at all right now. But we do have a campfire going, so that counts. Operating is Kilo November 5 Tango Romeo, Winterfield Bay 2020. Are you having a good time? 
at Winter Fuel Day, Electra? No? Are you bored? What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Are you ready for bed already? You ready for bed? You want to do any operating on the radio? We put a set headset on you here in a minute. Electra. You want to go? You want to get down? Oh, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, ha, ha, ha. now you want to go outside? You want to go outside? You want to go outside? Sit down. Good girl. Shake. Ah, oh, there she is. Good girl. Good girl. I tried to unlock it. I tried to open the door. I was going to stick it up there. No, I said nice. Ending a lever come again. Really? <laughs> W7PL, good morning to you. You're 5 and 7 to 5 and 8 now into Washington, D.C., District of Columbia. Go ahead. D.C.? Let's see if I can hear me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nice to work you again. 73. Kilo, November 5, Tango Romeo. Something 5, Tango Radio? Kilo, November 5, Tango Romeo. And 5, TR, thank you. You're 5 and 8 in Washington. Go ahead. We are 3, Oscar, North Texas. 3, Oscar, North Texas. And 5, TR, thanks for the QSO. For you, one Whiskey Bravo in DC, 73. Yeah. That's nine. Thank you. You're five nine into DC. Go ahead. Your buddy, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. Nice to work here again. The name is Massa. Mike Alpha. Sugar Alpha. Seventy three. I'll get a close up of it in a minute, but it's fitting that uh, the antenna attached to the mast mounted to the outhouse is actually made out of a, the centerpiece is actually made out of a deodorant bottle. So, yeah, that's a deodorant bottle that Noel K of 5SLK, he drilled holes in the sides of it and put connectors on the, on the, on each side to put wire, to screw wires into. So it'll actually do like four bands and then he's got an SO239 on the bottom of it. <laughs> a surface mount SO239. So it's, uh, it's really kind of amazing what you can make out into an antenna if if you so desire. Had it running on a 20 and, a, or no, I'm sorry. Had a 40 meter wire on it today. I think he put a six meter wire on it also, but he didn't, we never did do it, key up anything on six meters. We pretty much stayed on 20 and 40 meters for the whole weekend. We tried some 80 late last night. You know, the disappointing thing about Winter Field Day this time was that during the day yesterday, on Saturday, 20 and 40 were both active. We listened on 15 meters for a minute. We didn't really hear much down there. Um, I don't think we tried 10 at all. Uh, so we thought, well, I'll just stick around to, to 20 and 40. We're, we operated as three Oscar November Tango X-Ray. So we're only three stations, and one of those stations was actually a G90 QRP rig. So we had a 7200, a 7300, and a G90. And uh, the, 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 the sad part, the, the part that kind of disappointed me was that after the sun went down and 20 meters died last night, 40 meters died also. I mean, I think I made maybe six or eight contacts after the sun went down on 40. I was tuning around the band and just not hearing anything. I sat there and called CQ for 15 or 20 minutes and I think I got one or two of, of my contacts out of that. Um, but, but mainly, um, during, you see that buddy pole in the background, right? 
kind of washed out, but you can, that's a buddy pulling the background behind me. But mainly during the, uh, the nighttime, like 80 was even dead. I turned around 80 for two or three times. I went through the whole band listening and we just weren't hearing anything on 80. Um, we had a vertical antenna that uh, the TNO7 SPF 102 uh, that will tune 10 to 80 meters, and then um, we tuned over to the um, to one of the wire antennas that we had strung out for an infed wire antenna for 80 meters, and we just w weren't hearing anything on 80. So that was disappointing, um, and 40 was disappointing also. But you know, when the sun came up on Sunday morning. 20 meters came alive again like it always does and there's people on 40 we're making contacts on 40 meters on uh, during the daytime so go figure 40 meters is actually often um active on the day uh, during the day i know some people will tell you that 40 meters is a nighttime band and that's not wrong but um it's not uh it's usually pretty busy during the day also so sometimes uh you know, I'll do FT8 from my 40 meter dipole at home at night. I'm walking backwards right now. <laughs> I'll do uh, FT8 from 40 meters, and I'll do FT8 up on 40 meters up until, you know, 11 or 12 o'clock at night. And I could go longer, I just don't because I'm usually going to sleep about that time. So, for whatever reason, we just couldn't get much to work on 80 this time, or much to work on 40 this time, except for during the day. Um, but we had fun. It was a good uh, contest weekend. There were five or six of us out here, but really only about three of us really operating. And, well, no, four. Four of us really operating. Um, and once again, we were under the call sign of KN5TR, Kilo November 5, Tango Romeo. So hopefully we got you in the log.